Hey everyone, it's Dr. Charlotte Hodges, and I want to tell you some exciting news. Um, right now in my practice, you know, I do medical weight loss, I do surgical weight loss, I also offer telemedicine. However, I have been wanting to try to make my um, my follow-up and my patient accountability a bit more robust. And so there are two things that I'm going to be implementing that I think will make my patient's long-term results uh, much better. Should I say long-term results? Or rather, I should say it this way. Whenever you look at the data to see what allows patients to have the best long-term results in terms of weight loss, and this is whether they have surgery or whether they do medical weight loss, it's going to be logging their food, it's going to be taking a daily account of their weight and then also adding in exercise. And so right now uh, we do have a relationship with Barry Tastic. I also really encourage patients to use my fitness pal. Honestly, I actually use my fitness pal because it syncs with my Strava app. So I really like the convenience of that. But I have um, started a new program, and um, you'll probably be hearing more from me about it, and it's with AccuHealth, and it is a remote monitoring, and so my patients are going to be able to get a scale free of charge, um, and then um, insurance covers the cost of that, and then it allows you to... Um, to weigh yourself and then all that information is synced directly to my electronic medical record and um, apparently as a way to keep patients engaged um, AccuHealth will also they have like um, you get like bingo numbers and so you can get a gift card at the end of the month and so I'm really excited because you know, so many of my patients, you know, they're following along with their weight and um, sometimes they have a plateau and they don't really know what that means. What's nice is with this AccuHealth program, there's going to be text messages. We're going to have a health coach. I'm like super pumped because I think it's just one more way that we can kind of help our patients reach and maintain their weight loss goals. I think the second thing that I'm going to be doing is... Um, in the past, when I did my cardiac stress testing, I worked in conjunction with a company called Frontera. And they were great. And it was nice because patients could be on a bike, they weren't on a treadmill. However, whenever I moved my clinic over here to um, Dallas, we started to partner up with a different cardiology practice uh, and not use Frontera. However, one of the things that I really liked about Frontera is that one of the... Um, one of the testings that they would do that insurance covered was called a CMAT. And while yes, it would test your cardiovascular resistance, what it would also do is give you like an exercise program. And also it would tell us based on your um, metabolic rate and your breathing and your oxygen consumption, it would give us the heart rate range where you need to be to be in aerobic metabolism, where you are in cardiovascular training. So it was nice. Um, I remember whenever I was just at a residency, I had a personal trainer and I mean, I paid like 500 bucks to go up with this trainer and they put this mask on my face and I've got on a treadmill and they essentially did a CMED. I just paid cash for it. I didn't realize that then what I know now. And it was able to tell me specifically where my heart rate needed to be to be in fat burning and where it needed to be in cardiovascular training. And since I'm like really out of shape and I was at the time, my heart rate really only needed to be between 105 and 115 to be in the fat burning zone. So, you know, whenever I'm making my videos and I'm going out and I'm walking, I am checking my heart rate because I wanna to try to keep my heart rate within that zone. If I'm going above that, that's actually making my heart stronger. So if I want to run a race, so for cardiovascular endurance, but if it goes over like 140, I'm actually in anaerobic metabolism and I'm not getting a whole bunch of good out of anything. So sometimes it's not working out harder. It's about working out smarter. So I'm going to be rolling out these two new programs. Um, um, here in the very near future. So be on the lookout for emails. You'll hear me have some text. I might try to have some different um, games. I know what's nice is like with Strava and with MyFitnessPal, you can um, join groups. 
and um, so that people can um, cheer each other on. So I'm really excited and I'm really pumped because I am always looking for ways that I can better engage my patients, number one. But then number two, what can I do to make this the best journey that you can have? And how can I make sure that you can reach your weight loss goals and stay there? So be on the outlook. I'm excited. Hope this helps. Bye.